Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. <laughs> Future, can you write bigger? Sorry. That's fine, Professor. Um, so we, uh, these are some two ropes and a third rope. So what? What if this is two hundred kilos? Uh, then uh, what rope should you use? A rope that oh. can hold. Uh, I have an idea. Wait, wait. A rope that can hold. Oh, is this like a bandable shell? Or what? They can hold four seventy here. Oh, can I try? Can I try for a second? Yeah. I don't know. I have a idea. Mm -hmm. So if you use, yeah, so, so you use mm -hmm. the smaller one or the one that's cost effective? So what? Well, can I, can I draw the diagram? Is this two hundred? Is this? We're going to get into the whole detail in the lesson. That's it? What is this? The, uh, so there's a third rope that's pulling on the chandelier with 1962 units canceling out the force of gravity. Okay, and then what is the 60 degree thing? Oh, so there's a rope that's 60 degrees to the horizontal, and then there's a second rope that's just completely horizontal. Okay, so what's the question? So, what uh, what is the rope you should use? What material should, no, oh, what for, rope should you buy? For, for this rope? No, for all of them. All rope, of them? Ropes that can hold 5, 10 pm, uh -huh. or ropes that can hold 4, 70 pm. Into well, actually, let me just check 200 times 9.8 is how much? 1962. No, it's actually 1960, Professor. Unless you use them for it once. Yeah, everybody. 
Okay. So then, why do you need any more rope? Isn't um, it just done? Uh, no, let's just say huh? you, uh, let's just say you're in this situation where you have to install three rope. I think you just need, need no more rope. Zero page. Because it's not really that. No, yeah. rope that can hold. What rope should, uh, no, what material should the rope be made of? Would you think of? Like, what material?
Wait, wait, uh, well, Mama. Yeah, yeah, but so? you need to solve for F2. Okay, equals zero, right? Equals zero. So F2 t is equal to F1 t equals N7. But F1 t has no horizontal component, right? Yes, it does. It does? Yeah. Oh, this is yes, big. yes. So it's going to be. Did you do you know why no, 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 it's no, no. I see, I see, yeah. <laughs> So, you know why it's yeah, yeah. And not it's the so, so, what is F1? F1 and 1962? No, remember, we found it. F3 is Oh, 92. yeah, yeah. 230.99 cosine 60. So, cosine 60 is sine 30, which is just half. So, about 115. So, 115, you can just write. Okay. 115. So, that's going to be equal to. Round it up to 116. Oh, of course you don't have to. Okay. So, now, we have F1T and F2T. Is it Newton, Professor? Yeah, these are in okay. Newton. So, now, um, what is the conversion unit for Newton's to count? Oh, times 9.8? Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, that's to kilogram. Yeah. So, times 9.8 times 1.15, right? No, times 0.45. No, no. Times 0.45, yeah. No, times 0.22222222. Because that's 1 over 0.45. Yeah, yeah. So okay. why don't you go ahead, right? Yeah. First, so I, first I have to do something. Point four five. yeah. yeah. So 29. And then... What are you trying to find? What are oh, yeah. The the viewers? Let's try to find the disk, but... In um, um, yeah, um, yeah. So why don't you write the conversion factor? Wait, wait, wait. Two times nine point eight one. Twenty one point eight is the total conversion time. Okay. So multiply both of those by twenty one point eight. Okay. Well, you can give it to me, Andrew. So I do the function. Two thirty point four times five thousand thirty four point forty nine. Uh, pound. Yeah. It's the second one. Wait, uh, wait, okay. wait, wait. Do you wanna know the second one also? Or wait a second. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, twenty-five seventeen point twenty-four six. Wait, hey, that's exactly half. Yeah. Wait a minute. Isn't that obvious? Because what this, is this? this is half of this, and I'm multiplying it by the same fact. So, uh, which one is F2 again? I forgot. Oh, okay, so maybe they just made it that way. Okay. So, I think you're writing this. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.